Hello and welcome. Firstly, allow me to congratulate you on your recent purchase of the brand new MG ZS EV SE model. In this video, I will talk you through some of the main exterior and interior features of your brand new car hopefully trying to address some questions you may have but also having this video to refer in the future if you have any questions or forget how to use uh, some of the features of the car starting from the front we can see the stunning led uh, headlamps which give the car quite um quite an aggressive modern um modern look it has a very nice stance on the road you will not miss the front grille because there's none uh, being an electric vehicle and you will see here we have the front mounted camera because this car comes with both 2d 3d and 360 camera which we'll see in just a bit how to operate and next to the batch on the left hand side we have our charging port simply press on the right hand side inwards and it, it opens and then let me come closer here's where you're going to plug your charger at, at home simply press this button to the right hand side and it just opens you can plug your charger and when you're done simply unplug it push this inwards and this inwards and you are done moving on to the side of the car we have this lovely 17 inch alloy wheels and also uh, both the um, both passenger and main driver's door uh, come with keyless entry so you can simply press the button and the car locks or unlocks on its own without the needs the need of a key moving on to the back in order to open the the rear boot you uh, put your fingers on top of the mg logo or batch and press inwards and then push it upwards and here we go plenty of space for your day-to-day -day activities big or small luggage there is additional space to the right and left hand side and if you pull this upwards there's a bit more space but also this is where you're going to find your charging port along with the inflation kit you can also um you can also decline um the the passenger excuse me the rear seats uh in order to extend or expand your um your, your rear boot space if you need to carry larger items to do so come to the um, rear seats open them and at the back of the seats there is this little lever here press it upwards and push the seat downwards same applies to the um to the left hand side of the seats and essentially it just increases massively the space you have uh for your boot to carry items to close the boot simply uh put your put your fingers here and then just press push it downwards excellent let's now move in the car again as i've mentioned the car comes with keyless entry so i can lock as you can see i've just locked the car press once more and unlock the car indicated by the windows um, opening or closing starting on from the driver's door we have our central locking so click this button and all all doors are now locked click this one and they're all unlocked below that we have the front wind electric windows and the rear electric windows and some space for um for cup holders moving on to your seat in order to adjust the seat and move the whole thing upwards press this lever upwards and vice versa if you want it to go downwards to move this section here there is the lever here push it upwards if you want to if you want the seat to go lower push this upwards and use the weight of your body to push it down or if you want it to move forward press it upwards and it will automatically come on its own towards you and just use your back to find the perfect driving position for you now if you want to move the whole seat to the front or to the back there's a lever down down here here we go press this upwards and then use your body to push it um, towards you or um, away from you now to open the bonnet below the steering wheel on the right hand side there is this lever here just press it towards you and the bonnet opens now moving on to um to adjust your mirrors to the perfect position for you behind the steering wheel on the right hand side we have these buttons here you will start on zero position to adjust your right hand side mirror press it um, or switch it to the right and then you can go upwards to the left downwards and to the right when you're done 
uh, scroll this to the left and perform the same activities so up left down and right and when you're fully done put it back into zero whenever you park and you want to uh, fold both your mirrors have it in zero and then press it downwards and your your mirrors will come down and if you press upwards uh, they will come up now moving on to the steering wheel let me actually just show you quickly how to start the car uh, simply press the brake pedal and behind the wheel on the left hand side we have our start engine just press that and the car comes to life as you can see now uh, on the steering wheel we have the main functionalities on the right hand side here you can use all of these buttons uh, to navigate through your main screen we have our voice commands and our aesthetics the car allows you to apply any function uh, that you find helpful on that asterisk and as soon as you press that it does exactly the function you want it to do on the left hand side we have our uh, radio um, radio button so you can increase or decrease the volume skip to the next track or go to the previous one mute everything you can answer calls with uh, this little button here which uh, has the phone logo and then SRC allows you to toggle between uh, DAB radio FM and AM now to adjust the overall steering, steering wheel posi position if you move to the back um, behind the steering wheel at the bottom you'll find this lever here press it downwards and then you can take the steering wheel upwards downwards until you find the perfect position for you and to secure it just get the lever and push it upwards and it's now secured um, on our screen here you can see uh, the power you're using and also the miles per hour you're actually driving at this point in time um, you will see here the remaining battery currently we're at 98 percent our CARES um, system, the level that we're using, which we're going to talk in just a moment. And then the driving mode you're in, currently we're in normal, and the remaining range. Um, in order to, if it, if it rains and you need to use your wipers, behind the steering wheel on the right hand side, we have the lever, press it upwards to go once. The more intense the rain, press it upwards and upwards, uh, so the rain's wipers are more intense. And then downwards when you want it to stop. While you're driving, if you want to indicate that you're going to turn to the right, there is a lever on the left hand side of the steering wheel. Press it upwards to indicate you're going to the right. Press it downwards to indicate that you're going to the left. Um, for your cruise control, behind the steering wheel on the right hand side, uh, there is this lever here. While you're driving, you can set by pressing uh, this button here the, the selected speed you want. You want um, to be cruising along uh, and to increase the speed push it upwards decrease the speed push it downwards moving on into the middle section of the car we have some card holder space here some more additional space um, over here and then this is with the p logo this is our electronic handbrake um, so up to uh, to se secure the car essentially to move uh, the handbrake up down to push it down um, here we have this a logo this is your auto, auto hill hole control so while you're on a hill the car will just stay there uh, assuming that you have the handbrake on so you can just press the um, the energy the, the gas pedal and it will go straight on uh, so the car won't roll backwards essentially to select gears this is our gearbox here in this fancy uh, fancy little way always press uh, the brake and then we're currently in neutral in order to put it into drive you scroll this wheel slightly to the right hand side and then to put it back in end is slightly to the left and to reverse slightly um, to the to, to the left hand side in order to put it back in parking simply press this button inside when you press the button, uh, the parking button, the uh, electronic handbrake automatically comes up. Now, moving on to these three uh, buttons here, we have our mode, which I mean, allow me just to bring you here. We're currently in normal. I can go into eco mode by pressing the mode button lower, and then I can go into sports mode by pressing uh, the mode button once. So we have eco, normal, and sports mode and as you will see from the uh, from the miles there 
depending on the mode you're you're, you're driving the car assumes that you're going to have less miles the sport here you drive now moving on to KERS which stands for kinetic energy recovery system uh, KERS is essentially you can see it down there we're using uh, the maximum amount so as you may know electric cars due to not having a petrol or a diesel engine uh, they do not automatically slow down on the road so kinetic energy recovery system essentially creates the, uh, the, that engine braking that a normal car would, would have and you can select the intensity um, of the feel essentially of the braking and then last one battery if you click that we're immediately going into our screen to see all of the battery information we need to have now moving onwards we have a 12 volt socket there we have two usb ports one normal usb and one usb-c port and moving on to this lovely touch screen infotainment system um, on the top right hand side this is our home screen um, on the top hand side uh, top left hand side excuse me we have our uh, battery um, information to, to go in simply press in it and this is where we see everything about the car uh, we, we can see the remaining level of the battery and also the remaining range I'm currently in sport hence why it's at 240 so now I'm in eco so 265 as you can see um, also down here when you charge the car you can select if you're in a hurry and you are say at 10% you can select the percentage you would like the car or the battery to charge to so say 50% and then it just stops automatically uh, one thing that is very important to to notice here is that on this car when you're charging it in order to stop the charging you do not just unplug the car you need to come inside the car start the start the car overall come into um, this screen and then select stop charging this will then stop the charging and will allow you to unplug the charger if you do not do this you will not be able to unplug the car moving on in this screen we have our um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which to access you will need to be um, connected with USB in the middle we have our radio so if I click here uh, the, as you can see we have our radio station and you can select between DAB, FM and AM also always regardless of the screen you are in order to go a step backwards or to the home screen you can either press the home uh, button here or within our shortcuts down here select the home button and we go back then we have our satellite navigation system <coughs> which looks very much like Google Maps if you ever use that uh, now you can to, to, to go or find a new route simply go on the top right hand side corner onto the search button and apply um, the postcode or the address um, you want you want to go and the the car will simply find that address um, quite quickly apologies I'm just gonna put the postcode we're currently at here at Lascombs there we go and then start the journey as Please simple as that we can also stop the destination by clicking on the top left hand side corner just stop um, stop the journey moving on as you will see down here we have our air conditioning quick buttons so you can increase intensity or decrease it and then our um, the temperature of the cup but also we can slide this main screen to the left hand side where we have more settings where you can access your air conditioning as we've done before uh, going back we have our vehicle information this is essentially where you can apply the aesthetics I, men I mentioned earlier to perform any functionality you would like to uh, to have <coughs> you have information about the mg pilot so you can um, enable or disable um, lane your lane assistance and other as you will see here other um, security or safety um, safety measures the car has within mg pilot now you'll see this button here says 360 this all always applies when you put uh, the car in reverse so you will see I have a few screens here and I, down to the right hand side we have a number of um, number of screens we can see or views so you can simply just touch where, what you want to see 
and the camera changes automatically. This is currently the 2D view. If I want to, if you want to use the 3D view, uh, there is a little button here. Press the 3D, and we're now in 3D view. And again, you can select the camera angle you want to see, which helps you essentially just park even at the tightest spots. Moving on, we have our settings down here, where essentially you can change. Allow me just a second to go back to general. You can select the brightness. You can make this dark, dark screen being light. So with, with the white, I prefer the, the dark one. Um, and on the left hand side, there's a number of settings. So simply you can just scroll up or down to find the setting you want. You will see Bluetooth here. So you can just select and start pairing your, your phone to Bluetooth. You can play with, them, with all the sounds on the car. And last but not least, we have our uh, Bind vehicle. This being the MG ZSEV, it comes with the mobile application, the MG iSmart application. So you can essentially pair your car to your phone and perform some remote activities with the car. Uh, and this is where you can access essentially the, the, the bind, bind My Vehicle for your MG iSmart application. This pretty much now concludes the overall um, screen of the car. On the right hand side, on the passenger, we have our glove box um, and then we have our electric windows for the front and this is pretty much overall the car, the main functionalities of the vehicle. I hope you have found this video useful and informative. Um, if you did, please, um, please let us know and if you have any questions, do not hesitate to give us a call here at Lascoms as we're always happy to uh, help and address any, any issues you may have with the car. Thank you ever so much.